In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove audio from a dash cam footage and replace it with custom music using DaVinci Resolve. So let's head over to DaVinci. So it doesn't matter whether you're using the free or the studio version as the process is exactly the same. So if you have a dash cam, you can easily download the footage to your PC either from the SD card or you can even connect it using a USB cable and so on. So if you do have files on your computer, you can easily import them into DaVinci Resolve. So for this, I'm actually on the cut page of DaVinci Resolve. So make sure the cut option is selected. And with this option, we can actually import either a single file or the entire folder. So dash cam is normally saved in very small files. These may be something like between one and five minutes long. So if you just want to import one single clip, you can select this option, which is called import media. Just click on it and you can search for it on your PC. Or if you want to import the entire folder, click on this option, which is import media folder. And you can search for the folder on your PC. In my case, it's in videos and it's this one here. So click on that and then select folder. It will then give you a warning saying that change project frame rate and so on. So if you want to change it, you can. If not, the select don't change. So I'm going to select change. So now you can see all the files have been imported into DaVinci Resolve. So for the, for the next step, I'm actually going to go into the option, which is called edit on the top bottom toolbar. So select edit. So again, you can see all the media um, files here. So you may need to use a slider to see a little bit more if you want to. If you can't see your media files, make sure you select media pool. If not, you might be on effects. So select media pool. So to import a single clip is quite simple. So you can just select any clip you want. So all these clips should be in order. So it should be basically one continuous recording of my journey. So if I just select this clip, we can drag it to the timeline. So left click, hold and drag. And we can now see this particular clip is in the timeline. And we can see the top is the video and the green is the audio. So to remove the audio from this particular dash cam footage is very simple. Select the clip, left click, and then right click. And you can then see right down the bottom, it says linked clips. So select that to untick. Then, if, then we can select the video and the audio separately. So we can now delete one or the other. So I'm just going to select the audio. And if we right click again, we can select delete selected. You can also press the backspace key on your keyboard if you need to. So now that particular clip has no audio whatsoever. So that's one option. Just going to delete that. So again, if you want to import, say, an entire journey from one place to the other you may want to import all in your multiple clips so i'm just going to import them so left click drag you may need to use the zoom function to see the timeline if there's no gap so it may look something like that if if it is click this one and you can see a little gap so now we can just drag them to the gap again you can drag hundreds of clips if you want to to the timeline so I'm just going to drag these. So you can now see this multiple clips. I got one, two, three, four, five, six clips on this particular timeline. So I don't particularly want to repeat the same process by just selecting each clip and trying to remove the audio. So what you can do is put your cursor on a blank space, say towards the end, then left click and hold, and you can drag and highlight the entire clips, then release, then right click, and then right at the very top, you can select compound clip, new compound clip, then select create. And you can now see it's now joined all those clips together in one big compound clip. So again, you can repeat the same process, make sure selected, right click, select the last option to unlink the clips. Then you can select the audio and we can then remove that audio from the clip. So I've now got one big long clip of dash cam footage with no audio whatsoever. So what if you want to add some custom music to this? So you can go to sites like YouTube 
audio library and you can download hundreds if not thousands of different tracks which you can use on your videos you can even monetize your videos if you want to so I downloaded a couple of tracks earlier so to make things simple I don't want to import them into this area here as it's a bit cluttered so if you go to the left hand side and select the master option you can see it's a nice blank space and if I just right click on this blank space I can then import media and in my download section I downloaded a couple of tracks so it's these two tracks here so you can just import both of them at the same time by left clicking highlight and then select open and you can now see that both clips are in the in this section here so again we can just left click and drag them to the timeline so you can now see that the dash cam now has custom and music added to it so if you want to add multiple uh, audio tracks to the timeline it's very easy again you can just drag them and place them behind each other so if you did want them to fade into each other so it's a nice fade effect what you can do you can drag this one to a track below it and then you can move it across a little bit so you may need to use again the zoom tools so you can zoom in so you can now see this particular track is crossing over into the other one so what you can do just going to use this a bit to zoom out so you can see the audio format is here and it kind of fades out by here so if we drag it towards there and then we can use these little sliders to fade the audio so they kind of fade into each other so do it on both tracks and make sure you use the sliders to fade it so if i play this we should hear a nice transition so it's going to go by here So as you can hear that's quite a nice transition from one track to the other and again if you wanted to add multiple tracks just repeat the same process drag them put them slightly like that and again you can do the other one drag them to the bottom and just drag them across a little bit and again make sure you use the little sliders so they fade in and fade out and so on and of course you can just keep on adjusting these as much as you want and just use the fader so once you're happy with the audio you know that's basically it you can then go click on the deliver page once you're on this page you can select the whatever format you want i just select custom and i choose mp4 you can adjust the bit rate if you want to then towards the bottom but you know it's automatically set to the best quality and so on once you're happy with it give it a name you can then browse where you want to save it say the video section save then you can select the add to render queue and you can now see it's there select render all and it should then start rendering it to your pc and so on so basically that's it hope that helped you thanks for watching